and for churches. When we live out of a fear-based way, here's what I know to be true. When we live out of a fear-based way, fear causes us to restrict, to hold back, to pull in, to huddle, to lock, to lock down. Fear does that. And it was John Claypool who first helped me know that on any given day, we have these two choices. We, we can look at reality and you know, look at life out of that posture of fear. Or we can look at life out of the posture of love. If we look out of life at the posture, we come at life out of the posture of fear. We look at life through the lens of, through the suspicion of, there might not be enough. Fear is the suspicion there might not be enough. What if there's not enough? What if there's not enough? And we restrict and hold back and pull in. Love says, I'm going to live out of the belief, the confidence that there will be enough. Exactly what the psalm said right before the scripture. God, will there will be enough. Of, of whatever I need, there will be enough. One posture says there won't be enough. And it causes us to clench our fists and shut down our hearts. And another posture says, come what may, there'll be enough. There'll be enough help. There'll be enough hope. There'll be enough strength. There'll be enough support. There'll be enough peace. There'll be enough forgiveness. There'll be enough of everything my life needs to make it. There'll be enough. One is a posture of this, and another is the posture of this. And every day we get to choose. Every day. We get to choose. So it's no surprise that when Jesus returned from the grave, returned from his own death, came and found his friends, he opened his hands. And he gave them Easter's first words. Peace. Peace be with you and you. And you, and you, and you, and you. Amen. In these moments, as we have an opportunity to sing, we also have an opportunity to pray, whether at your seat or here at the altar. Maybe you're carrying a fear or a worry today that is robbing you of life. And for so long, you've been living like this. With your knuckles white and your fists clenched, because you're afraid there won't be enough. And you really do want to live like this, in the confidence that come what may, God will make it enough. So, in these moments of music and prayer, should you desire to come and lay a burden down, receive a blessing and peace, the altar is open for all God's children.